Hi guys, Archibald Chesterfield the third, AC3, and today guys, I'm talking Patek Philippe World Times. I'm talking World Times, and I gotta tell you guys, it's absolutely amazing. Before I do that, I'm doing a quick wristwatch check. Wristwatch check. I'm wearing my Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2. Thank you so much. Today, guys, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about. What do I want to talk to you people about? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Let me give you the drum, guys. I want to talk to you about Patek Philippe World Times and why they shot up. Now, let me take you back. I got my yellow gold world time. It was 2017. And it, it was a watch that was always a dream watch for me. And I I got it from a dealer friend, Ronnie. Ronnie from Vintage Watch Co. Ronnie and Luke from Vintage Watch Co. in Brisbane and Melbourne. No, Brisbane and Sydney. Brisbane and Sydney, that's right. Vintage Watch Co. And I bought it as, you know, <coughs> I just sold... Well, I'd gotten the money for my gold sub. God, the long story, we won't go into that, but I got a, a brick of cash and I said to, I rang up Ronnie and said, Ronnie, I'm looking, I've just sold my gold sub. I want to buy another high-end piece. And I said, I said to him, I said, ah, oh, I originally wanted to get a bluesy, a two-tone submariner. And uh, he didn't have a nice one. He said, oh, no, one I've got here is on consignment. A little bit rough, Paulie. Don't don't go for it. Uh, he then said to me, hey, Arch. Arch, what about a world time? I said, hey, I can't afford a world time. Hang on, man. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I said, I don't mind going for a entry-level paddock, like a 5196 manual one Calatrava. But I said, a world time. Woo-hoo. He said, hold up. Hold up. Have I got a deal for you? And uh, I bought my world time from Ronnie. And I got to tell you, that was one of the greatest deals I ever did. It's one of the greatest deals. And <clears throat> my world time, it's a 5110J. And it has exploded. It's absolutely exploded. I cannot, I cannot understand it. Because this is a Patek Philippe in the dress watch genre. Dress watch genre. And it was only when I started talking to my good friend Tan and, and Vin Tignier that I realized that the market for this, this piece, it was a bit of a sleeper because it was a little bit small, 37 mil. Uh, although in the collector market, if you went on to websites like Purist Pro, uh, there was a very big passion for the 5110. Uh, that's the model I own there. Um, and what had happened was Paddock, they, they made the 5110 from 2000 to 2006. Then they went bigger, 39.5 mil, the 5130. Then, a couple years ago, they ditched the 5130 and they made it a 5230 and they, they, they went smaller. So, all of a sudden, when it went from 39.5 mils to 38.5, the 37 one became the bargain. It was always liked for the font that they used, the countries around the world. <clears throat> the font was probably one of the nicest and the guillochet on the dial was regarded as just outstanding. So the collector market for these pieces, they were sleepers. They were sleepers. And uh, I got to tell you, the market from 2017, early 2017, until late 2018, what's that? Two, almost two years. Whoop, it's very, 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 very much it's gone up. And uh, I was saying to Tan, Tan, my good man, Tan, Tan, who he has got a 5035, the annual calendar paddock. And I, 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 he was saying, no, the world time is substantially, it's a very, very high end piece. 
my good friend the Carts, who had a 5110P, that's the platinum one, the most desired, he actually said to me when he went to Basil, Razzle Dazzle, Basil World, the world time is promoted higher than the annual calendar. It's, it's kind of, they're very complicated uh, without getting into the grand complications. So it, it is incredibly interesting in the sense that this piece here has really rocketed up. Now, the thing is with this Patek Philippe, this grand classique from Patek Philippe, the prices have really shot up. And if you jump on Chrono24, type in Patek 5110, you can see what I'm talking about. The prices have zoomed. And uh, it's quite fascinating because there are some 5110s which have a few problems. Like for starters, the 5110 came with the gold or platinum uh, deployment buckle. Some on Chrono have, the, the person has taken that buckle off and they've got a tang buckle, which is not correct. The, uh, the Patek 5110 was always sold with a deployant buckle. The other thing that happens is if it's missing papers, the papers. Now, with Patek Philippe, you can get an extract of origin, but the, um, the actual, the actual, Certificate of Origin, that's, the, that's the, the one that comes with the piece, that kind of gives it a $2,000 premium. It's paying a premium for that. Uh, I mean, the extract is okay, but <laughs> let's be honest, the Certificate of Origin is a better thing to have. The next thing that's quite interesting is... Um, if you've had a recent Patek service, if it's been serviced by Patek Philippe, that's a big plus. It's kind of like buying a five-year-old S-Class Mercedes. If it's all Mercedes-Benz star warranty, it's got blog books, got some warranty on it, it's going to be a much better sell than if you're buying one from Joe Average car dealer who hasn't gone the extra mile. He's just trying to make a fast buck and uh, he could be hiding some faults with it. So it's, it is very interesting. The fact that a Patek Philippe like that is, it really does add. And, and I, I gotta tell you, I'm completely shocked. I think realistically my Patek Philippe Coming back from a service, uh, so I mean, mine is got the it's got a new strap. I'm just getting the strap changed at the service. It's got the the gold deployment buckle as it originally had. It's got box papers. Um, it's got. I've got the original, I've got also the instructions on how to set it, which is, that's handy to have. I've got the original catalogue from when it was in, in production and, and available. That's the, cat, the sales catalogue. I've also, <clears throat> recent paddock service, this thing here is probably a 27,000 US <coughs> to 29,000 US piece. And that's, that's, that's what's happened. And it, it, it's quite funny because I bought this, I bought this piece, uh, low 20s US, and it's just exploded. It's really exploded. Uh, it, it's fascinating. It's fascinating. The wristwatch market. See, I, I, um, I thought the, um, the paddock market itself was very, very, it's Nautilus and Aquanaut. But no, 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 that's not the case at all. Some of these other paddocks are really having a boost. And I, I got to tell you, the 5110, I think, is starting to be regarded as it's starting to come into its, its full line. The amazing thing is, I was talking to a 
watch dealer overseas and he was saying that the 5110s they're not far off the current model the 5110 is the wanted one and uh, the 5130 has always been a little bit soft it's a little bit too big and it was the one that was uh, made the, the biggest number were made of, of uh, modern world times was the 5130 People didn't like that circle hour hand it had. So I got to tell you, it's just amazing. The 5110, uh, it, it's funny. It's funny. I spoke to a few dealers and uh, I spoke to uh, a dealer 12 months ago. Okay, this guy's a bikey and he's a bit of an asshole. But he said to me, nobody wants 5110s. Can't give that away. Don't, don't bring it in here. Now I spoke to a dealer last week and I thought this dealer was a bit tough he said no 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 he said oh that watch in Australia would be thirty three to thirty five thousand dollars he said it's a very rare Patek Philippe he said you don't see that on the market much at all that and it's funny that the whole ambience of this piece um, my piece itself it was available at Vintage Watch Co for twenty seven and a half Twenty-seven and a half thousand. Now, admittedly, I've serviced it, but it has gone up, and it's a dress Patek. So, the 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 actual the actual market for these type of pieces, for beautifully well-made, well-crafted pieces, is going up. So, um, I I've, I've got to tell you, I'm uh, seriously considering moving it on because it's coming back from a service. It's going to be perfect. I'm a little bit confused. I'm a little bit confused. I, I want around the 27 mark. If I was to part with it, I'd, I'd want high money. I, I don't want to give this thing away. I want top bucks. I want top top dollar. I want top dollar. And uh, i uh, I got to be honest with you. I, I'm not here to sell the cheapest paddock in the world. I'm here to get a good return. So, um... Yeah, that's the way it goes. I'm Paul Pluto. This is the Paul Pluto channel, Archie Luxury channel, and Archie Luxury corporate. The Patek 5110, it's soaring in value. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. And let me, give me some opinions down below. And uh, we'll discuss it further.